Hello there, everyone, and welcome back. My hunt will cont will continue for the Castellan robot, and I'm going to dive in deeper with these missions with Kepra, and the mission here is going to be a nice one, although suddenly you just changed your overlay or your portrait for an additional tech priest. I don't know what happened there suddenly, but either way, I am looking forward to this because I have a lot of Blackstone and needs to be spent. And you are the perfect candidate for this. Otherwise, we have a mission to defeat uh, Yoff here. That is now available to us and that will probably put an end to this uh, series of events. Or series of missions. And a level 3 ranger is always welcome. So, there's no need to beat around the bush and do anything different for... I'm holding off on my level ups at this point anyway. Since... There's not really much more to upgrade size for Oriochus, and that's an expensive process. But I am eager to try out the level 3 alpha, and with uh, Jeremiah's uh, traits to give him guaranteed critical hits. He is sadly more effective, I want to say anyway, than my uh, Rust Stalker. So let's get started. See if we can at least get this one mission done with some time to maybe do Yoff, or some really short mission. Now, everything's going to be as usual. I don't see any reason to s change it. And as much as I like the Infiltrator, it doesn't really synergize the best with how I've been, how my strategy has been working out. I just go straight up to killing them and fighting them straight up. And not really hit and run and harassment techniques. Just wear them down. I have the skills, I have the upgrades to just brute force my way through. In all seriousness. And I am curious. I am looking at this. Okay, I was wondering why that Blackstone cost was like 60-ish or something. That's because of the carrier or the ship. What I'm fielding. I kind of would have liked the idea that maybe I could upgrade to a heavier fighter or carrier. Or transport ship. Seems a little ridiculous, but considering it has an actual name for it. I was kind of hopeful. Either way, let's do this. A serious matter has come to my attention, Majos. I fear I can only discuss it with you directly. My tech priests are lacking in time, manpower, and resources, Subdomina. It sure is worthy of our time. It is. One of the Skatari officers has broken his strategic sock conditioning and disappeared from our common snet. The conditions in the tomb of Ujao has caused a complete psychological breakdown. In short, he has gone mad. This is a material and moral threat. I return shock at the prospect. You were right to bring this to me. It must be dealt with swiftly and discreetly before ever anyone else hears of it. Let's get started. Let's get started even. And let's see how many battles we have to do in the process. I can narrow down the Alpha's last location, but it's an approximate target at best. You'll have to find them. My tech priest will locate and neutralize any, the wayward soul. What intelligence do we have on Necron activity in that area? The Alpha broke under fire. The Necron he was fighting will still be there. And Medjos, when you find them... <coughs> Excuse me there. I hope that wasn't too loud on the mic. I tried to move away. What logic demands must be done. Must be done. Deployment number 28. How many free battles do we have? Interestingly, it looks like it's just a one. So this might be a shorter battle than that alone. Now what's the best route to take? Since I can go str Oh, never mind. There's another battle here. Now you're just tempting me to take everything. Since it's a great way to keep the awakening down. I kind of want to go straight through. Do these two battles. Go up here and then diverge back. I think that's the most direct route. Because otherwise I'm doing a bit of detouring. Maybe. Hard to really say. Actually, it's just two moves this way and then I can go down. Maybe that's better. I miss out on a lot of the events. Because I'm kind of forgetting I can backtrack for free. 
It could be our Alpha, but then again, he won't be the only human bleeding in this tomb. The cohort picks up human tracks and smeared blood, leaning deeper into the tomb. If we can follow the trail as quickly as we can, find a route parallel, or proceed with caution. I don't think I want to go too bold. Let's see if we can find a secondary trap. It causes a waking. Cohort, the cohort moves alongside the trails, staying off the path itself. In doing so, they note the movements of nearby Necron, also closing on the trail. They do not find the Alpha at the end of it, but are able to skirt around the highest concentration of Necrons as they continue on their way. It sounds like this was a benefit, dang it. I don't know why the Awakening is going up. Although they probably think that that blood trail is part of our cohort, I suppose. If I had to guess. Alright. Let's get the first battle out of the way. And build up that Awakening so I can knock it back down. Scan destroy, that sounds simple enough. And we got elevators. This is an interesting layout, I gotta say. Not a lot of cognition to be had, though. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but... How to best approach this? Because we got a lot of flayed ones, they're not a big deal. There's some more Lich Guards. I almost forgot they were in this mission. Four Lich Guards, wow! And a Far Guard. He's gonna be a pain in the butt. But I have the perfect unit, the perfect uh, tech priest to deal with the the Lich Guard. I and I kind of almost want everyone to go through this way, since it seems like the right choice. Just take the bridge, have them go all to the right, and then I just circle around them entirely. Sounds like a good opportunity for me. I did not pay attention to who goes first, though. I'm so used to Leonardus going first. And apparently it's Oriochus, which is going to really suck. Thankfully I can kind of get away with him not moving, or waiting. Delaying his turn, rather. Flayed ones. I almost forgot you exist because of how uh, much of a joke you're going to be. Delay with Minarius as well. And just let them roam on over. And I'm going to just use you, my friend, to get some cognition. I hope you don't mind. You are going to be very helpful to me. Now, can I kill you right away? If I want to buff up, I can, but I don't know if it's warranted. This doesn't seem to be much of a point. Sadly, minimum damage. But we are now maxed out. Everyone's going to get on board the train now. Because we don't need to be here, and I honestly can't remember if the Lich... Oh, the Lich Guard, every time I shoot them, they move towards me, too. Which actually helps me if I tar prioritize my targets the best. So i got to keep that in mind. Just keep shooting them. Make them come over here. Deal for Cursed Fan Far Guard as well when I get an opportunity, because he's sure going to mess things up. And 50-50 chance to kill you, which honestly doesn't appeal to me very much. But Jeremiah has no goddamn movement either. One damage, boo. And I can summon a unit. And sadly, oh, I can deploy on the elevator. I was wondering why you wouldn't let me. And if I remember correctly, the Lich Guard have really good physical defense, but not the best in energy. Oh, never mind. It's the other way around. Poor physical, really good. Uh... Oh, dang it. I forgot my uh, Ranger Alpha. This still works out well, but that was not part of the plan. Oh, and who am I kidding for crying out loud? I'm just going to give this guy guaranteed critical hits. You know exactly what that means. Armor is irrelevant. 
So enjoy the buffs. And you get to go next as a bonus too. All right. You know what I want to do? I want to burn the command fire, but that's not a good idea. Just so that way I can move multiple units, but my Vanguard can already do that. Since he can't shoot twice. So give me the guaranteed critical hit. Ah, uh, dang Fargarf. Oh well, strategy is still the same. Force him over this way some. So that way they're out in the middle of nowhere. Now, Oriokas, your job is a simple one. We're going to buff him up for the time being, I suppose. And Mar Mar Minarius can easily kill this uh, Flayed One. And Oriokas goes first in the group. Lich Guard, Flayed One. I'm just trying to figure out who might attack me. So, start bringing the party over. How ridiculous. Well, the more critical hit chance, the better, since I do need to charge that up some. Because if I can ignore armor, that helps a ton. I don't even need to know how much armor they have. I just know they're taking full damage with a critical hit. So keep wandering over to the right. It's exactly what I want you to do. Stupid Lich Guard. Another critical hit, perfect. Now you are, what is it, 75% crit right now. So that's pretty good. And your turn, and then Minarius. Your job's a simple one. Dead flayed one. Might as well kill the corpse for the cognition. Because I'm just realizing I'm burning all my cognition too. And actually, this is a pretty good shot. I am loving... Oh, wait. This is going to suck because I don't know if I can shoot from across the chasm. No, I cannot shoot across the chasm. I can at least hold on to it for next turn. But what I was hoping is maybe I could hit all three of them. Yeah, well. I'll save it for now. Now we go for a ride. We successfully uh, pulled the wool over on the Lich Guard. It's just uh, the Fangar, was it the Far Guard, that's being a nuisance. So, again, we have a lot of Lich Guards. I want a lot of physical damage. Is what I think I need to go on. And I should be relatively safe otherwise, because they're almost exclusively melee. I don't recall if I saw a ranged attack with the Lich Guard or not. Now, you are already an opportunist, so that's pretty good for me. And I'd rather you fire on the Lich Guard for that reason. Well, that was a dumb idea because I have no movement. I have no cognition, dang it. This is why I love having Leonardus and Jeremiah go first. So I need to start delaying their turn, with that said. And cognition freedom still in effect, perfect. You should not be able to reach me yet. But as soon as I start shooting, I will change. Now, I want to believe the pistols 
can't deal with these guys easily enough now, so just sh take your second shot. Especially that critical hit. Alright. Leonardus is in a terrible spot, sadly, because I did not move Minarius. But all these guys move, so I can safely just delay. I just gotta be mindful of who I'm targeting. Because I would love if that l one Lich Guard actually teleports back to the middle. So I can get Cognition. And I think I'm gonna do that. That will help fund my war efforts. And that will just straight up kill you. Perfect. Let's see, you're... I believe this is the flayed one that was damaged and I have a Serpenta. As well as buffs. And I also can do a called uh, Command Fire, but that's a terrible idea maybe with the dang uh, Lich Guard here. I can at least take out one of them to help speed the process along. Who do I want to kill most? And what's this ability again? Oh, Benediction. So I, he's a maxed out healer as well. I really do want to shoot at him. I just don't know if that's the best opportunity until Leonardus gets in there to taunt him. So we'll kill the Flay one. The two shots should do it. One more time. Good. Now I can proceed to buff. Well, do I need to buff? I could save this for later if I'm going to shoot the second flayed one. I'm just wondering. What? Maybe I can one-shot this one with the both of them together. That might be what I do. Now keep in mind I have no cognition anymore. And Minaris and Leonardus already delayed their turn. That's a big deal. So I'm going to end off on that. But actually, let me just fire the game of pistol and fix my problem. There. And maybe having both these guys here will help uh, give opportunity attacks. Especially since it will shred armor with the machine spear currently. So Fanguard is charged up. I'm hoping it will kill the flayed one here. And with a machine spear, yeah, it's definitely going to do that. No questions asked. I honestly wonder if instead I should have attacked this warrior. Now just hang back. Over to safety. Now yeah, there's a lot I can do here. But maybe you should just kill off the flayed one, but... I still can't shoot them with cognition freedom, so... Sadly, that's a bit of a wasted skill. But Flayed One is dead. And I can use them to buff up everyone else at least. Since it's only a single uh, Lich Guard, so... I just gotta be very careful about how it moves. Which is why Leonardus is using Spotlight, Taunting, and doing everything to help mitigate that for me. And I taunt at the terminal, just because I can. 9 to 11, 
Shredding all the armor for goodness. Heh, I absorbed all your pitiful damage. And I want to keep going, but I can save that for next turn. I hope the Lich Guard decide to go on the elevator. Oh. Well, that was an interesting trick. You know that was probably a terrible idea, but I thank you for your contribution. Now, terminal is going to be easy to take care of. And again, no cognition because you always go first. So delay Oriochus so I don't waste his uh, potential. Hey, Minarius. I almost want to use the generator. Because you only get one cognition. I'll delay. I'm about to get a bunch of cognition from Leonardus anyway. Now, how about you? What can you shoot at? I say we just shoot at the warrior with that said. Because that should be a nice good hit there. And next turn I should be able to do a really ridiculous attack. Dang it. Apparently I can't even get to the terminal that way. I was kind of hoping maybe I could. Alright, we got the black stone. Kill all targets, I'm aware. That would have been too easy otherwise. Now give me your cognition, please. And thank you. I almost want Leonardo to go up there, but... There's no need to yet. They're gonna come to me. You just, you, well, you still have your taunt available. So if you could take some hits, that will help. Come on, hit me. Haha, <laughs> how does that treat you, huh? I bet it did nothing. I bet it's frustrating. I bet I shouldn't mock him because then I'm going to get a critical hit on me. So let's see, I have a Serpenta, I have a charged up Gamma Pistol, which does destroy armor. Which sadly I don't have many opportunities for armor, shredding armor. Unless I want to use the Serpenta on a Lich Guard, which sounds terrible. Because of the armor it does have. And I have a lot of fun stuff I can do. So why not just double buff these guys? And the next turn they'll have a bunch of colleagues to help them. Because this 100% critical hit chance is like the perfect weapon against those Lich Guards. And I can do it every single turn. I can't remember, did I damage you or not? I'm just wondering if I shoot a Serpent at you or not. I don't think I shot you, so let's just shoot you again. For good measure. I think he had only one hit point left, which is a shame. Oh well. We are in good shape. It's just a, uh, just because of the nature of these Lich Guard, I'm gonna have to be good at focusing them down one at a time. Which is where the armor piercing comes in. I just can't hit the cursed thing. There we go. And you do not have double shot yet. So we gotta keep that in mind. Oh my god, we killed him. That was that must have been the one we shot at earlier that got teleported out. Well, actually, remember, I did shoot at them blindly just so they could run over here. I just didn't realize they were that easy to kill without armor. Now how? How to best shoot more Lich Guard, dang it. 
I can't see the dang Lich Guard. So I'm gonna have to settle for a dang Far Guard instead. Or however the hell you pronounce his name. Wait a minute. I can do both, can't I? Will this prompt him to move? We'll just make a move. No, it didn't. So I found one little gimmick that I can abuse. Nine damage, so almost killed him, sadly. And I kind of want to shoot at the flayed one here, but he's not even going to go after me. There. The little pest is gone. And you are at, what, 95%, I think? Wait, you're still... Oh, you're healing yourself. That's what's going on. I keep forgetting about that. Did I quite literally give you double heal? And that's actually hurting my attempts to get your critical hit down. Or get your critical hit going. No, you're just Celis Metals. I didn't give you the... I didn't put you into the healer path yet. But I'm starting to realize how... How counterintuitive it actually would be... For me to, uh... Give him two hit point regeneration a turn. He would never build up his critical hit chance if I did that. Still, 75% critical hit chance is still ridiculous. It's not a 100% chance, is what I'm trying to say. Now... I am worried this one stupid ledge, this one little opening, will deny me the devil shot. And that is basically what's happening. Well, I look forward to getting back to the harder missions, because it seemed like the one time... I did a hard mission, it actually worked. I couldn't tell you why though. Because now where I'm currently at, I can't even shoot the cursed thing. Which is really weird, but okay. Really, I cannot shoot at all. I do not, I do not know what to make of this. And it's a little unfortunate, but we'll have to make do, I guess. I still got plenty of cognition for reinforcements, so... The only problem is, I, what I need is more armor-piercing weaponry and not raw numbers. So that's the only downside here. So I think I'm just going to avoid bringing in the rangers because they're not going to do a lot of damage against the lich guards let's be honest boo you got it hit in I was kind of hope I was kind of hoping that he would not he was not in range but I can heal it easily enough I can get double shot as well and you were not buffed for the guaranteed critical hit yet so kill the corpse. Fire on the flayed one, and then position yourself for a command fire, I suppose, is what I want next. Because, yeah, he dies to almost any shot. Especially a uh, machine spirit shot. Now, Oriokus, what can you shoot? You can get a Lich Guard there, so I'm inclined to have you get aggressive. The sooner we kill these, the less awakening we have. God damn it. I was I went one space too far forward. Alright, fine. I'll bite. Just so I can shred through your damn armor. That was not a critical hit, dang it. That's a shame. 
he should still be almost dead. So if you get that critical hit, that would be good. Perfect. And hell, you have enough movement, so let's just move you around some Oriokus. Oh yeah, and I could have used uh, my abilities, couldn't I, to help increase my critical hit chance. You are in melee right now, which you have armor for that, so that's not a big deal. I just want you to use your dang uh, Culverin. Ha! Huh. Didn't feel sing that time. Alright, so... I am gonna have to use my, uh... Cognition Freedom. But let's see if this works. Come on, I saw it highlight. This is becoming more problematic a weapon than it's worth, suddenly. I did see it highlight. It just does not make a lot of sense right now. Yeah, with seven armor, it's not going to do anything either, dang it. Can I shoot at someone else? Not really, dang it. So much for that. I'm just gonna hunker in and let them take out our the one lich guard there. And none of them have been yeah, none of my vanguards have been Oh never mind, take that back. You have been buffed. So you, my friend, get the honors of killing this lich guard. Perfect. Your armor's not so tough now, is it? Not when I can just quickly hit right through it. And I don't think it's possible for me to kill them all with three actions, can I? Maybe if I melee the Lich Guard. 9 to 11. I can rush up there and kill him. I don't know how much health is left on this dang thing. Okay, that answers that question, doesn't it? And supercharge the attack because you give me two cognition when you kill him. Guaranteed kill. Good. And flayed ones have already moved. But I at least could stand next to this one, I guess, to try and damage him. Four health left. I think I know what I want to do with you. And actually, I may very well kill them all, but with, like, no cognition left over, almost. This will, oh, dang it! Okay, I was going to say, that would have been terrible because I had the Mechadenrite available. So that helps alleviate that problem some. Alright, Serpenta and Blast. Yeah, I should actually maybe be able to kill this. Yeah, the Vanguard's in a perfect position. So Okay, so we finish it here. This turn, ideally. Yep, we definitely finish it because he's been buffed up with the extra movement. Good night. Definitely was a scary battle, I won't lie, just because of how uh, armored and problematic those Lich Guard can be. But I am well equipped to deal with their armor, thankfully. He's gone. He's too far gone, Majos, but I can't make this decision for you. Oh, did we find him? The mad Skatari Alpha is hunched against the wall in front of you. He has ripped out his augment, augmentics, and one of his eye sockets is and one of his eye sockets is empty. It is a scene of gory horror. His breathing is labored, 
And he is filthy with blood. Oh, so he's still alive. Let's see. Try to exercise the madness. Let's extract him. That may not be the best idea. I'm going to try anyway. Oh my god. The cohort rushed the officer and are able to restrain him with neuro cuffs without incident. He thrashes and scream as they try to drag him out of the tomb. And before they reach the tomb entrance, he dies of a uh, total augmented organ collapse. Uh, poor fella. But I am happy with what we got. Now Oriochus has a lot of flexibility. Especially as I continue his uh, training to, through the Explorator route. I am happy with that exchange. Sadly, he's dead. Not by my own doing, at least. So now what I'm going to do is backtrack and try and bring down the Awakening a bit. Well, do I need to backtrack? Well, this is kind of the best way I can. Actually, yeah, this would be faster since it doesn't boost up the Awakening any. And I'm really tempted to go to that glyph, but we'll see how the two battles play out first. Extra Necron battle, that's fine. Uh, Skatari Trooper lies dead on the floor of this chamber. It is clearly not the Alpha you seek, because we already found him. There is no sign of Telltale Necron Gossfire, and the body has not been dismembered in the manner typical of a Flayed One attack. Examine the body. Let's see, check for traps. We'll examine the body. Though I am low to say it, I hope this was not done by a rogue alpha. Otherwise, it means there is more than one Maz Katari in this tomb. Four cognition points. Well, uh, I should have read that for you, dang it. I rushed it a bit. I apologize. What do we get next? Sounds like word is already spreading. Damnation! Gossip moves faster than any data virus. The cohort passes close by a uh, unit Skatari moving towards their post. Oh wait, passes close by a unit of Skatari moving toward their post elsewhere in the tomb. The tech priest overhears Skatari discussing rumors of an alpha who has gone missing in the tomb. Let's see question them, I guess. We'll try it, I guess. St. Olympus Mons, they don't know about our rogue alpha after all. We had better make sure it stays that way. The Skatari are evasive, but eventually it becomes clear they are discussing a Skatari officer who fell down a seemingly, seemingly bottomless shaft in, in the tomb and was never seen again. Okay, wrong guy. <laughs> we get some blackstone out of it, I suppose, so that's good. Now, let's bring that awakening down, shall we? Because this is a good opportunity for it. Now, what do we have here? Just, okay, I was going to say, only a single flayed one, huh? Two terminals, and the objective is to kill all enemies, so this should be relatively simple, right? Wishful thinking, I know. So who goes first? Who should I be worried about as far as moving? So you go after Leonardo, so I'm not too terribly worried. So all three of my Vanguard are going to get deployed. And let me summon some Rangers in case more reinforcements show up. Actually I don't, because I don't want to delay. Even though I can get some cognition in the middle, I suppose. But I want Oriochus to be able to fight. Which is something that's a little bit awkward to me. I won't lie about having him go first. Now, can we kill this Flayed One right now? One more time, please. Good. We didn't roll low on both counts, so I'll happily take it. Oriochus, your job is a simple one. 
Oh, actually, dang it, I was excited that I could grab the terminals. They're already dismantled. Dang it. So let me see if it's actually possible to end this battle with, uh, in a single turn. Although I did, well, I was going to say I did myself a disservice, didn't I? Because I could have charged up my shot to get the guaranteed one shots. All right, let me correct this at least while I can. Because Oriokas killing two flayed ones would have been really helpful. I rushed that a little prematurely. Otherwise, we can buff troops. So I think I'm going to try and double buff one of them if I can get away with it. Just kill these flay ones and make this the fastest battle ever in this playthrough so far. And this is almost dead. I just have no cognition to utilize. So let me just buff everyone up. And you're about to walk to me, and you hopefully should be dead. A critical hit at that. Nice. Although maybe I should have shot first then buff later. Is what I'm thinking. And Leonardo's goes next so I could burn Cognition. But burn it on what though? I already burnt my one buff after all so. You were not buffed alas but you can double shot one of the flayed ones for us. Uh, in all honesty, I should have you go shoot the one that was already crippled. Just to help make sure it died. Because this one might survive if you roll two fours. Alright, that's good. I want Leonardo to go. I'm not going to lie. Let's see, flayed one there, flayed one there. Because I want the cognition to get built back up. So, is this it? That's the only thing I'm curious about. Will be, there be more Necron or are we done? We are done. That was an incredibly fast uh, battle, wasn't it? Now, please tell me we reduced the Awakening by four, at least. Yes, we did. So that was as good as the two terminals that I was robbed. So I'll take that. Now, Glyph, what do you have for us? Okay, I believe the three swords this little icon here is bad. You healed, I believe, and this is Blackstone. So ideally, I assume I want Blackstone because the others don't really benefit me. Now on to our second battle. And let's see if there are, if we can really bring that awakening down. That would be nice. That would help a ton. I could get a ridiculous amount of missions done if I can continually bring it down to Zero Awakening. But this is going to be a bit of a tougher battle, if only slightly. <laughs> Keep in mind, I just obliterate a bunch of flayed ones without any real effort. So terminal there, terminal there, and we lich guard, lich guard. Death marks will be annoying. And the far guard, the far guard can do almost anything. So what's their most direct route? Just probably through here is where I expect them to be around, unless they go this way. So really, how I position myself doesn't matter. You go first. That's going to be annoying. I want to block your line of sight. Is that possible with the lich guard? And who goes that? 
Oriochus, so we gotta keep that in mind. Because I think Oriochus can kill the Lich Guard right away. If he has high enough critical hit chance. And who's second? Minarius. So you're gonna sadly have to delay, I think. And we'll summon three of the vanguards. I kind of want Oriochus in front to take the hits, because let the death mark actually shoot me then. I'm kind of okay with that for the additional critical hit chance. So with that said, let's actually rotate these guys over to make it a little bit harder for the death mark to shoot them. Alright, this might be the best I can do. We'll see what the death mark does. Yep. Alright, you fired at Oriochus. I thank you. That's exactly what I want, you idiot. Now, Vanguard does get to go first, which can be hit. Well, considering I have an opportunity target here, let's take advantage of it. Although, I'm going to have to shoot someone else, aren't I? General progress is going well. My last uh, tomb mission basically ended in Zero Awakening. I am hovering at 70% right now, so if I can somehow keep doing that, I could play this campaign indefinitely almost. Although I wanted... Ah, I was hoping to shoot the dang death mark. Alright, we'll have to settle for the Necron Warrior. But it's going well now. The missions aren't too ridiculously difficult. But right now I'm just in the process of trying to get the Castellan robot. I want to at least experience the the heavier, more powerful type of troops before we finish this campaign, ideally. Now, 85%, let's correct that. Do I burn one of these or, or not? I'll save it for the next battle. And buff up one of my troops as a bonus. Oops, stupid me, I forgot. I kind of needed that cognition, didn't I? Now, well, Oriochus can heal himself. I'm not worried. And re remember, this gives him better critical hit chance. So I'm not worried in the slightest. And actually, Leonar. Yeah, it's going to be a while till Leonardus goes. So, um, Minaris is probably going to have to st stall his turn, is what it looks like. But enjoy the guaranteed critical hits. Your shield's no good now, is it? I just hope I'm far enough away from you. Uh, that's unfortunate. Alright. That could have been scary. I should... But I can repair and I have a traveler. Or not traveler, but opportunist. So I'm not worried. And I burnt co I burnt all my cognition, stupid me. I'm doing myself a bit of a disservice here, but because that should if I had done the two shots, he would have been dead. I just overcommitted on my utility. Otherwise, he should be crippled. I just need a good physical attack to finish him off. Which I don't think is from Minarius, so I'm going to stall your turn. Until we get you some more cognition, that is. I would love to shoot at the uh, Lich Guard with these guys, but I want to know that they're going to die first before I commit to that. No, I haven't done any of them yet, because I want to see if it would give me a hint that that was even there to begin with. I'm hoping I'm not missing out on like secret, an alternative secret ending though, by not using the 
the, the seals or doing the seal missions. But I haven't done them. I don't think I plan on doing them unless there's a real need to or indication I should do them. But it's nice to know you found out about that after I, I gave you that hint there about it. I think you forgot about it. He's survived, but we can fix that. That Fargarf has another thing coming. You have five health. Is there a way I can kill you? I can't even shoot you is the problem. And what's funny is the death mark can shoot me, but I can't shoot him. <laughs> I'll take the hit. I'm not too worried about him for the time being. I want to deal with these uh, Lich Guards quickly. If I can. And that's the same one I've been shooting, right? So he should be almost dead. Wow, he's not dead. Alright, you got a lot of help on that guy. Leonardus is finally in, so... Time to get a whole bunch of resources. Reveal all these guys' traits, that's a big deal too. Oh, so that's why you were so hard to kill. You have all that physical armor. And who's next? Jeremiah and Minarius, who is perfect for this situation. I just need to get him some cognition. Cognition, cognition, and more cognition. Now, thank you for your contribution. You can go to hell. I would have liked to critical hit, but that'll do. Now, I can taunt. I probably should taunt. Just in case. Extra armor is always warranted. And then, try and grab those two terminals once I clear out this group. I don't even need the cognition, so let me save the servo skull. I have more cognition, I can buff troops, but let me keep in mind which ones actually go first. Now, I wish I had a way to know who was the second fanguard to go. Oh, wait, I have a better idea, damn it. I have a goddamn better idea. It might not be a good idea, though. Because what I was thinking is command fire on one of these guys, but the Lich Guard's probably going to do a whole bunch of moves, is the problem. Yep, they are nice. A lot of repairs, a lot of cognition, and I don't. I think I only have the the Coratio uh, Mechadenrite and the Cognition Mechadenrite at level three, so they are the ones I mainly been using. And Rangers are not that helpful, but I can disarm. Not going to be helpful because they're not going to do a lot of damage, is what I mean. Alright, command fire. I'm in the way of... Oh, I'm in the way of my own vanguard. Dang it. Can we somehow kill this guy? I would love that. I just... Well, actually, I have... I think I may have answered my own question. Now... Well, I don't know exactly how the Lich Guard's move is going to work with multiple attacks, but... Needless to say, this is going to be brutal. Have fun. Well, except you. There, 8 damage. 9 damage. And one more for the road. Goodbye. And that was the one I buffed with the guaranteed critical hit, too. So in all honesty, I could not have asked for a better uh, series of shots. 
Now, do I buff the ranger? I think I do to guarantee a kill. Because you'd only do, what, two to four damage? And now, what about our death mark? Because I can't really buff myself. Can't really buff my damage anyway. Five to seven. I don't really want to attack him. And he has physical armor, so yeah. I just better not move. Just don't move, and hopefully the Overwatch won't be a pain. Well, that's kind of a terrible spot anyway, I think, for him. Oh no, I take that back. And there's no way I could shoot him, is there, so... Serpenta, let's kill this uh, Fargar then. I forgot I had actual weapons still on Jeremiah. Since he's not quite the well most first in using him. And keep in mind, Al, I have my next Battlefleet Gothic video uh, recorded. I'm just going to do the encoding and upload it while I'm out having dinner. So that should be later tonight, or I guess for you it would be in the morning, early morning. So hopefully you can look forward to that. To give you a bit of a tease, I'm going to be doing, was it, two uh, Demiurg Bastions and two Crew War Spear type of fleet. It should be a fun time, hopefully. Now, I could absorb the damage just fine. Can I kill him? Yeah, I can kill him, so it's worth doing. And it's a guaranteed critical hit, so no corpse for you. You want to know the funny thing about this 100% critical hit chance? It is a great way to harvest cognition off of Necron at a distance. Although I'm just refunding my Cognition because it does cost me one, but still. I am really liking it. And I can't hit you, so... We could disarm, disarm the terminal. How silly is that? Yeah. I want to kill the Death Mark. Although I've had a bad history so far on this mission with ledges and stairs. So is that going to be corrected here? Nope, it's not going to be corrected. It's still crap. In fact, my aimer decides to want to go off in the middle of nowhere. I could not tell you why. And I can't forget about this terminal. I almost forgot about that one. So Oriochus might grab that, since he is a traveler. Not traveler, but opportunist is what I mean. Perfect. I must have shot at him at some point, completely forgotten. Which is not abnormal when I keep talking to myself for hours on end. Now, let's fix this Awakening 3 problem that we're having. By killing them in this upcoming turn somehow. And the best way to do that is more power. More troops, more weapons. That may not have been the best placement, but I was kind of thinking maybe using you to shoot at the terminal. I almost was. Oh yeah, you might just kill that right now. Actually, you will kill it. Dang it. I don't really need the Blackstone. I know it's foolish thinking, but at least I don't forget about this for later. Yeah. I'm dual specking at Oriochus to be a Traveler as well as a Dominus or Explorator. He's just not going up towards the max upgrade, but he's going to be close. And apparently there's more flayed ones. Yeah, he has this escape. That's what it is. All right. Well, what was opportunist in that case? 
I don't plan on making him a traveler because he's using weaponry after all or guns. Or he's using these macro stubbers. And I can only shoot one there. Oh, perfect. That's the shot I want. Sadly, I don't have the convenience to buff up my shots this turn. I do get a shot, so why not just use it to kill one of these flayed ones? I'm hoping. Good. Because I'm pretty certain these Necron Warriors can take a solid hit. Since they normally have, what, 12 hit points? So I probably would not have killed them anyway without committing both shots. No. Flayed One's doing Flayed One things, which means he's... Well, I was going to say doing absolutely nothing, but... I am completely wrong on that front. This Flayed One surprises me. Now, Minarius, there's nothing for you up there besides corpses. And I want to make sure it's not possible to hit both of them because of that wall. Never mind every other thing I've been talking about. So who's best... Oh my god, 8 to 9 damage. And you have... Cog yeah, let's give you that guaranteed kill. This hopefully ensures it dies. Yep. Perfect. I don't know if it's as possible. I don't think it's possible to finish it or finish this battle in this turn because I'm pretty certain it's going to be more Necron when I kill this other terminal. Hey, Vanguard. The Necron Warrior is pretty beat up, so maybe I can kill him? Can you shoot him is the question. And you have machine spears, so enjoy. Okay, he's dead. So now it's what? One flayed one, one warrior. That shouldn't be too difficult. Just a question, what do I prioritize? Because I'm going to have to heal you. Because Leonardus will probably destroy the terminal and grab the cognition up there. And that leaves Jeremiah and two rangers to maybe deal with this one wa one warrior here. Which they should be able to do. I'm just going to be tight on cognition. I'm going to need another shot for over here though, apparently. Alright, so... Leonars, you don't quite have the movement to go up to grab the cognition and get to the terminal at the same time, do you? Not quite. I would have to burn more cognition, sadly. And you had a servo skull, so that was completely pointless. There we are. And... Is there any more? I'm pretty certain there's more. Yeah. And thankfully these guys don't go this round. But yeah. Let's just kill this then. The Explorer with the Engine Seer. I can see that there. Especially since the Explorer Raider is really... Might be pretty good as a tank as well, because I'm using a tier 3 spotlight, and it's been working incredibly well on Leonardus. So I can see the idea of making him a healer as well, to have help absorb that damage. But right now, I'm trying to give him more means to give me cognition instead. Since Jeremiah is kind of my support leader character, he's full, me he's full medic right now, and he's full secutor. So, I can summon troops down, as well as buff and heal them. It's pretty nice convenience. Now, who goes next? Because I want to buff these guys up as much as possible. 
I'm just wondering. I did shoot at you. Is it possible for me to kill you in any way? I can hit with a Serpenta. I'm just trying to remember how much damage I did to this one. Because I want the Serpenta to kill him. Nah, I didn't do any damage to me. So, if I'm somehow lucky... I'm just trying to think. I might burn a canticle here. I'm thinking I might burn a canticle to try and kill off all three of them. Is it possible? When I have no idea how much health these guys have left. And I want to heal one of them, but I don't have the cognition to do that easily. You're still alive. Dang it, that's unfortunate. I would have loved you to have died. What level... Oh, what level axe? Tier 3. Shredding 3 armor and doing 5 to 7 damage. I've only got tier 1 of, like... The Omnisign Axe, and I don't even think I got the Cinerite Axe yet. It has been really nice, I gotta say. Now, how can... I don't think it's possible for only two shots, sadly. Unless I can do something else, which I can't. Alright, so we are sadly going to another turn. And there's a good chance I can kill that Necron Warrior. Oh yeah, and I forgot he's still alive too, so never mind what I said. And you are not going to reanimate yet, so I got time to deal with the corpse. Ah, oh, that was max damage. I could have killed the Necron Warrior. That's a shame. Alright. So let me at least kill something there. What am I most worried about? Because everyone else... Yeah, I, I should be able to kill everyone else before they act. So let's see if you die. Okay. We're golden. It's just unfor unfortunate that we had the extra reinforcements to slow me down. At least it gives me an opportunity to max out my cognition now. That's the one benefit. And you are in the perfect position, my friend, to backstab this warrior. Although, sadly, you may not kill him. Nope. Sadly, no. Now, Oriok has kind of healed himself, unfortunately. And sadly, so many of these guys have two health. Even that one had two health, damn it. I can't kill any of them with a servo skull. Alright, so let's kill the Necron Warrior then. Kill the Flay one. And call the Rap. Yeah, you need to die, you're about to go next. A little more complicated fight, but not really a scary one compared to like fighting what seven lich guards in the first battle. But a little more complicated than trying to figure out how to ideally finish that in like two turns. Now, all we have left is the one flayed one. Can I heal my guys any before it acts? Well, Minarius could do some uh, triage, so let's take advantage of that. So who needs the heals? Because Oriokas almost died. I won't lie, if he had a critical hit, that would have killed him. And who else needs heal? Just a uh, ranger, because I'm leaving Oriokas as is. 
And even then, the one cognition point was probably more worth it. Okay, damn it, I'm gonna get some redemption for the fact my servo skull didn't kill anything by doing it again. So there. It did kill him eventually. Oh, we did max out on cognition. I can I take back what I said already about that. There we are, four awakening down. We are gonna be getting back into awakening too. For the start of this battle, though. But we're gonna get ourselves an extra tech priest, so I'm excited. Now, let's see what they have in store for us. What do we uncover? Come on, don't leave me in suspense. I already knew it would be a battle, though. It's time to get vengeance for what the Necron did to our uh, rogue alpha. So scanner destroy. We already found this Katari alpha, dang it. Why are you telling me to find them? Now what do we have here? Far guard, lich guard, one, two, three lich guards, and then a far guard. Not too nearly as terrifying as it was before. And turn order, I gotta remember that cursed thing. Since it's all sorts of thrown off. I don't know why the turn order changed suddenly. I think it may have something to do with the skills I gave him. How many bosses? I killed three of them. All in the same stream, no less, so. It was kind of nice. Now I'm just in the process again of getting the castle and warbot and whatever the other one's called. Just so I can see what they're capable of. Because I do, after all, have Jeremiah kind of, was it, trained towards those kind of units to get the most out of them. So Vanguard, Vanguard, Vanguard will stick with one not being deployed because Oriochus needs the weaponry or needs to be able to shoot. And I'm okay with delaying with them. You do not miss any of the du boss dungeons. Oh, I I remember fighting that dang ast astronomer with all his dang far guards. That was a pain in the butt. That was a pain in the butt. Oh, you may have even, even been there for it. Because maybe you were telling me about the flayed one boss fight. I can't re remember. How do I get cognition? Because there's not a lot of cognition to be had. It sounds ridiculous, but I think I'm just going to delay my entire turn. Let them come to me, and then I'll unleash a whirlwind of this devastation upon them. Mainly so I could get the damn cognition. I just gotta make sure everyone can move up, though. Because the, fan the vanguards might get blocked if I do this carelessly. Really? Really? Leonardus, I did not intend to trap you in there, but that's that sucks. Well, there goes my plan backfiring a little bit. I'm gonna have to rely on Jeremiah, then. Now, sadly you cannot move, that really stinks. You can grab cognition, but there's not a lot of cognition to even be had. And I'll let you take the hit, I suppose. I want to get some cognition. And absorb the damage, perfect. Now, which is the first vanguard? The only problem is, uh, he's not going to be able to move anywhere. He would have to go around. That probably doesn't work for me. And 
What kind of armor do you have, even? That's probably important to note. More physical. And I gotta keep in mind, this is also the last battle, so... Canticles are free to use. I gotta keep that in mind. And dang it! I was gonna get cognition off you, too. I'm doing myself a bit of a disservice. Yeah, I'm definitely playing out this turn completely wrong. But on the plus side, at least I can shoot the terminal and it won't kill it. Not right away. Yeah, I, it's been a while since I did the heretics. I did one before there. Mainly it's whenever I don't have enough time to do a full mission is when I do the heretic ones. But I do have access to the final heretic mission now at least. Eh. I'm going to need to grab cognition. I don't have much of a choice now. If I want to shoot them. So the buffs are going to have to wait. Due to how poorly I did this turn. And even worse so, I can't even shoot them. Oh, actually, I could shoot someone. There, that's what I want. Now, who do I ha hate most? Sadly, it's going to be hard to guess who even gets to go first. Let's just deal with this Fargarth, then. Yeah, I'm maxing out the Machine Spear. Let's go for it. Hopefully that'll do enough damage for me to kill this... ...to kill this guy. And... ...the 65 critical hit. Not impressive, but I'll try it. Alright. That should be enough to kill him, though. Yep, it's definitely enough to kill him and almost one-shot him. I'm a little disappointed I didn't get the full one shot. Alright. Now I'm able to do something here, some. Don't really have cognition here. So I'm still a little limited until Leonardo uh, charges me up. Which I know exactly what I'm going to do with my next uh, tech priest. At least how I'm going to start off with them. It's just a question on how to make them work. For gain cognition. And you per I don't want to shoot the do- I don't want to shoot you unless I'm ready to kill you. So just fire at the warrior. And let's see. Leonardus. You already- yeah, you're not going to give me Cognition, so I can't benefit off that trait. But I do want to buff you up. So maybe you can kill the, doom the Death Mark. And then otherwise... Who do I want to scan? I don't really care about the Lich Guard, because I already know they have ridiculous armor. Yeah, there's really no point for me to scan any of them, I think. So we'll leave it be for now. You are not the buffed one. And, but you can kill the Necron Warrior. Hell, can you shoot the Necron Warrior? Yes, you can. I hope you once. I, I was going to say, I hope you killed them. So we're going to have to burn the Devil's Shot. Well, that I'll take as a apology. I don't have to worry about his corpse now. Vanguard number two. Oh, you were the buffed one. I was looking down here, dang it, and not for a servo skull, silly me. Now, who can I best target? Just a death mark, which I do not want to do. Oh, I can hit the flayed one. That might be good enough.
Yeah, let me at least kill the flayed one. I don't want to hit the Lich Guard yet. Until I'm ready to focus everything on him. Or ideally, have Orioka shoot at him, is what I mean to say. Now, Leonardus, scan this for me, please. Give me a bunch of cognition. Blow up the death mark. All in a day's work. If truth be told. Now, when does the Lich Guard go? Alright, so he... Oriokas could just kill him before he does anything. I'm not worried. Yep. You had to make this complicate, didn't you? And I still need to destroy that terminal. I kind of forgot about that. But that's fine. I don't like you more. I hate the death mark more than the fact that I didn't kill the terminal. Now my servo skull is completely pointless here. But taunt, just in case, taunt the terminal for whatever reason. And see what happens next. I have two rangers and I gotta keep in mind Oriokus needs to get supercharged. So let's not get too carried away. I'll just deploy the one. I think uh, Jeremiah could deploy one for one cost anyway. And you can do a lot of damage to the Necron Warrior, I'm hoping. So let's see what damage you can do. Can you do the Devil Tap for me? Nope, he's still standing. Gonna need a little more to kill him. Alright, 70% crit. I want to hit the Lich Guard. And I'm gonna do it with overwhelming firepower. Now. I should not need to boost up the raw damage. Hmm. Maybe I do. If I can get two critical hits, that helps. We'll see if the first one hits. That was not a critical hit. I don't think the second shot's gonna kill him. Well, I take the fact melee attack helped with that regard. And that tells me he's below half health now. Now I want to kill him. Give me that critical hit, please. Thank you. That was what I was hoping for. Just bypass the armor entirely. Yes, come on over, Lich Guard. You saw what happened to your friend. The same is going to happen to you pretty damn soon. I only have one cognition, so... Can't do much with uh, Minarius, so he might as well do the, the boring job. And Leonardus did not go yet, so I'm just going to get my cognition back. And then at least that way, it allows me to kill this terminal. Perfect. Hopefully next turn you might be able to do something there, uh, Minarius. Hopefully. Flayed ones, I want to kill you next. Let's see if I can deal with you promptly. Although, let's not forget about this terminal. I have no one nearby it. Give me the devil tap. Okay, he's dead. Two shots is the magic number if done right.
All right, you got your cognition. I can get more cognition, but it doesn't seem all that exciting with no big uh, pillars that give me like three points. Ah, dang it. I don't want to burn a canticle on you. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to run around, grab some extra cognition, and then murder you without using the cog the canticle. Maybe unnecessary, probably pointless, since I should be using those canticles anyway. But it feels more efficient. I want to save the canticles for these guys. There, more cognition for my trouble. Now you're going to take your shot. I can heal that up. And I gotta remember to heal up uh, Oriochus when I think I'm about to finish too. Jeremiah, you sadly can't shoot much. You are in a terrible position. And your pistol is going to do absolutely nothing to the downside, too. Since that thing has so much energy armor. So who do I buff up with that said? I could buff a ranger, guarantee critical hit there. Would be good on a lich guard. If I realistically expect my uh, rangers to do any damage against them, they are going to need a guaranteed critical hit. And I could summon reinforcements. I kind of forgot about that. I could have waited until last to see where the heck this thing goes when I fire on it. So at least that way I have a little more freedom to move it. Wow, really? That's the first time I've seen a uh, Lich Guard with more physical armor than energy, ar energy armor. So that works out well. Now it's just a question, do I honestly buff up the ranger with that said? Oriochus. I do need to shoot him because otherwise Oriochus is not going to hit him. And you go first. Sadly you're too far away. And I can't fix that. And I'll buff up the ranger I guess. Now I still got more tricks up my sleeve how to best use it. Not very well. So just buff up their power then. And who needs heals? Just the uh, Vanguard does. So we should be done this by next turn. Let me make sure everyone is patched up so I get refunded my Blackstone. You are supercharged, and I think I want to use you to kill the Necron Warrior. Or actually, maybe I can bait this guy up so Oriochus can kill him. Oh, you're backwards as well. That's interesting. And we don't have to worry about the Necron Warrior at all. I wonder if disarming you actually moves you or not. It does. Was that a terrible idea? Apparently it was. I saw I disarmed you, damn it. So Oriochus needs to do something about him really quick. And you are probably going way back over there to safety. You ignore armor. 
so he's almost dead. He didn't move at all either, interestingly enough. That I find really awkward. Because that robbed me of potential plans to shoot him. So you got a lot of physical armor. But no opportunity attack, apparently. Okay, you're dead. So just what? One flayed one and two lich guards that are already crippled. Now yeah, we're gonna go crazy. Although I, I'm just realizing I could have used the ranger canticle to maybe kill him off. Yeah. I, I remembered the uh, pure damage one, but I forgot about... Oh, and I have a servo skull, so I don't even need to go over here. I forgot about the one that increased my energy damage. Yeah, you, critical hits what I need. And sadly, that's gonna burn. My, yeah, maybe I didn't plan this out the best because I need that critical hit if I want to kill him. Thankfully, I got it. Thankfully. All right, let's grab some more cognition. Kill this terminal and repair Oriochus. Oh, escape? You really want me to escape, huh? That seems kind of pointless. Eh, well. That just means it's gonna burn another one of my turns. It's the only downside. And let's kill him, ends it off too. All right, we'll get this over with. Played one, you're gonna be annoying, but I have armor. Lich guard, you can't really reach anyone, I'm hoping. And Minarius, I don't think you can actually hit, can you? And I can't, well, I can't get you cognition. I just don't think the Calverin are is going to help me here because of previous experience with it. I'm going to try. It might hurt Leonardo's quite a bit, though. Safety is now off. I have had a terrible run using this. I can... Oh, I saw something there. Yes. Okay, I take back everything bad about what I was saying about the Culverin. It's actually going to brutalize these two. Right now. That one moment made up for it. But of course, now I have to wait until everyone gets over here. So, we're unfortunately stuck waiting a turn. Who needs heals? The ranger up there. Which I don't think anyone can get close to him without backtracking. Leonardo, we know you can make it out there easily enough. So just give me some cognition, I guess, for sprinting. And also, I should probably kill them. Just in case. Alright, that's one. We have three more to make it over. Jeremiah, you cannot heal to next turn. And we're going to be stuck waiting in their turn anyway, so I'm not too worried. So I think what I do is burn all my cognition to sprint you over to the escape point and heal up this ranger. So that way I save maybe, what, 
10, was five, six blackstone, I guess. Not really exciting, I know, but might as well do it if I'm stuck waiting a turn regardless. All right, Vanguard. Yeah, just shoot the corpses, I guess. You got nothing better to do. And that was your turn. Oriokis, you get, get on over there. I think we're just waiting. Yeah, M Minarius, I think, can make it without a sprint. So we'll just be waiting on Jeremiah, with that said. Yep, N didn't need to burn anything extra. So Jeremiah, we're waiting on you, dang it. Alright, heal up our troop here, will ya? Save us a little bit of Blackstone. And did that top him off, or do I still need to heal him? Nope, he's good. We are done. Thankfully, only one awakening level for this mission. So, it was not a big loss. Not a big ask, at least. I would have been annoyed if that made it to Awakening 2 because of it suddenly having to tell me I need to make it to an escape point. Alright, the Alpha's corpse is carried out of the tomb by the cohort. In a sheltered clearing nearby, the body is doused in Prometheum and burned. No trace of the Alpha's madness remains. And the matter is treated from then on as though it never occurred. So it's a nice conspiracy. No one is the wiser. A sorry deed, but it had to be done. My thanks, Majos. Even the Skatari are not immune to psychological casualties. And if word got out of this Alpha's madness, they only have become more susceptible. Every soldier has his weakness. It is a logical necessity for a commander to take them into account in the decision-making process. I'd rather we were defined by our strengths and not our weaknesses. But missions like this remind me of how fragile we are in a place like the tombs of Silva Tenebris. It is the ideal of the tech priesthood to remove those weaknesses by making our physical form closer to the machine. True flawlessness has yet to be attained. That is the entire morals, or at least the entire mantra, the belief of the Mechanicus right there in that one little line. This, they slowly try to ascend themselves to be closer to their, their machine spirit, to that of the Omniscient. Now, let's see that tech priest. Although I guess it could just close, I suppose. That would make things faster, wouldn't it? But we don't even get to see how much I make out of it. Level 3 Vanguard, I would love that. More max cognition, but now we're getting the hard missions. Necron Heavy Destroyer if I want to keep going. So, I do have dinner to get ready for in about an hour. So we're going to try the... Was it the hair... To finish up the hair tech mission, I guess, but... Majos Taunus. Taunus, is it? Welcome to the crew. I have plans for you. First up, we're maxing you out to be a Lex Mechanic. I'm going to have to really start thinking on how to be enhance you further, though. Once that's done. Because cognition is going to be important at this point, so maxing you out, maxing you out will help. There we go. And this is the one that I really question because I need to actually kill for this to be useful. The staff with the alpha. Oh, the, with the alpha, okay. Okay. I don't... I don't think I understand too much. 
The st this staff with the alpha reminds me. They have no name. Then they alive. Okay. Then they got name if they die. I don't. I don't know what that quote's from. Alas. You mentioned Fight Club, so I don't know if that's. I never watched that movie, so I don't know if that's what you're referring to. Oh, the previous mission. Okay. All right. Now this is another one I question because I don't actually have a scanner. So it's unfortunate that I'm investing a bunch of upgrades that are not helpful for me. But we have this here, overcharged cognition. Now, do I make him explorator next? So that way he's up close and takes a lot of the attacks. Because I still have a lot of points to spend on him. Extra Explorator is not terrible, I suppose. And that maybe allows for him to have a spotlight as well. Physical armor, move more movement, so this should be an upgrade to my current leggings. Yep, that's an upgrade right there, so I'll happily take that. I might as well make him a traveler, I guess. Or at least work him up towards that. And I get one more level up. Keep that in mind. So let's see. Two armor. Uh, I think I like this better for armor on both ends. So now how do we kit him out? Pretty self-explanatory, I guess. We're going to have at least one Mecha Den right. We're going to give him the Tier 3 Axe. Oh, I did have a Cenerite Axe. It's only a Tier 1, so it's not that exciting, but still I have it. And that burnt up, like, almost all my uh, Augment points, so got to be wary of that. Now, I give him the Tier 3 Spotlight, I think. And then, hopefully, we can rapidly boost him up further. And of course I have one augment point left, so let's give him a uh, weapon of some sort. Which would I prefer? Maybe just a blast pistol to kind of spot, or at least get intel for me. That's probably the best I could do for the time being, but... Welcome to the crew there, Tarut. I almost want to call him Truth, because of how it looks up there. Now... Let's finish up our hair tech mission. Because now we have Soth, Yoff to fight. We get a really powerful animizer. Level 3 ranger is always nice. Oh yeah, and speaking of which, I got uh, another level 3 unit, didn't I? I forget who we just leveled up. Oh yeah, it was the level 3 infiltrator, wasn't it? Maybe? Yeah, level 3 infiltrator, but... Nothing's changed on him. Nothing's changed. He probably got the armor and extra hit points, but it didn't buff up his weaponry, sadly. So, I may not use the Infiltrator. But let's get this going. Let's put an end to the Heretech Reign. Actually, I, there's other, one other change I want to do, too, and that is to uh, Minarius. Now that we have a dedicated uh, person to get his cognition, although, hmm, I want to give him something bigger, something more powerful. What is a nice big powerful weapon we can get him? Maybe the Falkite Blaster? It does do chain damage. Eradication Ray could be fun, but it probably works just like how the Culvern has been treating me, which is poorly. Arc Rifle could be fun, but it's random as all hell. And this is just area damage that could get mitigated quite a bit. Actually, let's see, what 
I took off a three point upgrade. I forget what it was though now, damn it. Oh, it's the energy field. Well, slowing him down is not terrible, especially if I'm gonna get overwhelmed, so. I think that's decent enough. And I get two augment points for my. Ooh, I could even switch that entirely, maybe. For energy enhancers. If somehow he's able to fire all his weaponry. Which is a big ask. I probably am not going to do that. So we'll get the weaker field generator because he's kind of trained for it. And he's all ready. Any other tweaks I want to do with our new member? Leonardus is fine. Jeremiah is the only one I might upgrade a bit more. Give him two Serpentas maybe. What other weapon do I have that I can get? Because I don't think I like these uh, AoE blasters. Because armor might mitigate too much. Eradication Ray. That could work with the Machine Spirit. Because I'm going to have that to immediately charge up. So I'll give it a try. Let's hope I don't regret going too top heavy though. But the reward will give me a nice weapon for Minarius I think. Now, I want to play with the Ranger, because I failed to do it last time. And I kind of want a second Ranger for disarm potential. Hell, let's go full crowd control, I guess, in this case. Three disarms and an Alpha to lead them. This feels more fitting, doesn't it? Alright. Alright. I'm feeling good about this mission. It even, it even said it was an easy difficulty mission still. So I'm not worried. We have the cohort ready to, plo to deploy at the Engineering Blind Spot, Majos. Dr. This arch, arch heretic ellipsis is as good as dead. I commend your fate, Subtribune, but it must be tempered with logic. Epsilus Demetyov will have a plan to execute in the event of discovery. Then we must strike before they can execute it. Diagnostic, noon spear infection equal yes. Tactical, tactical flow interrupt, ellipsis plus hair tech reinforcements plus prepared pos position. This will not be a trivial task, as was to be expected. Our troops are in position. The blind spot is sealed off. The hair techs have nowhere to run except through us. Then let us end this blasphemy. Let us end this charade, because they're nice quick missions after all. Now, yeah, what happens here? Majos Festinius. I take it this means our ultimatum is refused? There can be no response to such heresy as yours. Save summary execution. How can you remain blind to the troop? You have seen the wonders the Necrons built on Silver Tenebris. You have wit witnessed their breath of their technology. I have seen the depri deprivations of the alien. The Adeptus Mechanicus has spent thousands of years trying to, trying to shed the weakness of human flesh. The Necrons solved that problem millions of years ago by forfeiting the souls. Yeah, keep in mind, they forfeit their souls to their Necron gods, the Catans. So I don't think we want to go that route. We could be immortal and infinite if we took their knowledge and made ours. You don't want that. For once, despite how uh, zealous the Imperium may be, they're probably doing the right choice by not following the way of the Necron. The Necrons destroyed themselves and became something monstrous. Anyone who seeks that fate for humanity is humanity's enemy. No, Majos. Anyone who denies us immortality is our enemy. Then I am your enemy, and I will deny you your, you mor I will deny you immortality for good. Now we get choices. The blind spot entrance is defended by a pair of hair tech tech priests. 
one armed with long range rad rifle and the other with melee tech axe. There is opportunity only to eliminate one before the enemy is engaged. I think I deal with the ranged because I can deal with melee pretty well. I just need to make sure they're armored for because of the dang field. Excellent choice. We cannot have this blasphemer picking off our cohorts as we approach. Eliminate the heretic. Do it quickly. All we kill was two servitors, dammit. That is not ranged firepower. The engineering deck provides plenty of cover, but trying to utilize it might give the enemy the upper hand if the cohort is spotted. Use the cover to approach or s approach with speed and boldness. Yeah, I think we'll go swift because I'm really good at just brute forcing my way through. I will not sneak around like a stowaway. This is my ship. And we will make the heretics know it. Noon spear scan, chatter increase. Alarm data burst, a uh, shriek data overflow. Formulating conclusion, they know we are here. Then attack, charge, for the Omnicyan. Necron initiative decrease, so we get the initiative as a bonus here. So I get to go first on the first turn, essentially. Look who it is. He looks really fragile, doesn't he? It'd be a shame if I were to knock him over. And he's surprisingly close, too. But he's not going to be an easy target still. Let's not get carried away. A ranged tech priest? Okay, maybe I ended up getting rid of all their meliers. But all these guys look like they have flamethrowers of sorts, but... Alright, so I do need to be careful. I could take a lot of damage here if they're all able to concentrate shots on me. And Tawats could could get beaten up really easily too. In fact, when does Tawaf go? He goes before uh, Minarius and Leonardus, so I gotta keep that in mind. And Oriochus again. Dang it, you going first is a bit of a burden. I don't know what happened to make you so mobile on the initiative, but okay. Alright, Minarius, where are you? You're the best uh, for tanking at the moment. So this is going to be a bit of a burden. Because I don't really want to wait if I have the initiative. Hmm. And I can't actually... Yeah, I literally can't do anything, so I'm kind of forced to wait. And I can get a bunch of cognition. So let me try and kill this guy off. Let's see. And let's just charge everyone up. Max out. Well, I could have. Well, I couldn't really summon any troops. But let's get the machine. Let's get the machine spear charged up at least. And let's see, this eradication ray is only a single uh, cognition to use, which is pretty good. I'm going to try and use that. So he only had one armor. Eradication ray sadly does not have much range, so I'm going to save that for later. Eh. Yeah, and I'm going to max out my Cognition next turn, so... I'm fine with that. Do I have better alternatives? Because I would like to summon a troop as well. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm going to get three more Cognition over here if I'm going to... 
Hmm. Actually, I don't need to do that. Because Taunt... I, I still have to get used to what he has to offer me, but he can grab this recognition for me as well. Hello there, uh, Brother Guardian Sea Rag. We are going to be dealing with a heretic this night. I just want to protect my soldiers as much as I can. Yeah, keep in mind, I just burnt Cognition, so maybe I'll use Eradication Ray. Well, I say that and burnt all my Cognition. Ooh, maybe I can get the best of both worlds. I'm just trying to be optimal is what's going on by now. Well, I say that, but I still couldn't hit the off is the problem. Now let's see how much health you have left. You have 8 health. The ranger alpha could kill you. And then I can buff... Well, actually, I'll burn my Cognition, which is good, sort of. Do you die? Perfect. Alright, and then I just max up my Cognition for uh, ta Taunt up there. It's going to take a little bit of game used to just to optimize. I don't want to waste Cognition if I'm just going to be able to max it out. So he gets to go first every turn, I think is what that tells me. And he can dodge any attacks, which is going to be really good against uh, Yoff. So before I do anything, I kind of want to burn his Cognition. I just don't want him out to die, is what I'm afraid of. I'm a little bit scared of him just dying if I get a little too aggressive. Well, who am I kidding? He does have the spotlight, which will help with that. So I don't need to worry as much as I make it sound. It's just knowing how to get the most out of him. That's going to take a little bit of time figuring out. Their 8 Cognition will shred your armor. Five damage, perfect. We'll spotlight. Once he can get all his equipment, that'll help a ton with being able to just spend this Cognition and then just bring it back up. Now, do I actually use the Mecha Denrite? Because Jeremiah has one, Leonardo has two, so I might as well. Unless I want to move somewhere else, which I don't know where that would be, if I were to be honest. So, I'm thinking maybe put you this here, so that way maybe this hair tech blocks line of sight. I just don't know what you're capable of. Oh yeah, let's just reveal your stats, I guess. Uh, that's not too terrifying. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Ooh, did I just see? You can hit him. Slowing him down is not a terrible idea. And that shreds his armor immediately. Which I really like that idea. So let's do it. Because I'm going to assume there's going to be more reinforcements. So eventually we're just going to be forced to kill him off. So one physical armor to a tech priest. So give that to uh, taunts, hopefully. Uh, sadly, you cannot hit the uh, servitor. So let's buff it up. And even cognition freedom is a good opportunity here. Because now I have two heavy weapons to take advantage of it.
And what I also might do is just walk over and shield uh, taunts as well. Eat it. How do you like your own technology, huh? You damn hair tech. Yeah. I'm gonna burn all my cognition, but Leonardo should help with that easily. I am not too worried. It's just a matter of getting used to it. As I said already. Because Leonardo's can give me a bunch of cognition. He has two Mecha Denrites as well. And keep in mind, every time Taunts gets shot at, he gives me cognition. So it's going to be a bit of a roller coaster ride. Trying. Watching this uh, cognition keep going up and down, up and down. You are dead. Perfect. Although I should have got Cognition off you first, damn it. I forgot you're not a Necron. So what I might do... Okay, there is someone over there. I'm just going to go over to you, I suppose. Because you have a spotlight as well. And... Actually, you might run back to the energy field with that said. You might. Because I don't want you getting double shot it, but... Actually, you should be perfectly safe if you go over here, right? So I don't need to burn two points on that. I'm hoping I'm right. You are slowed. I'm hoping. I have seen the future. It is clad in blessed chrome. Oh god, he's one of those Mad, Mad Max villains. Shiny and chrome indeed. Oh, is that all? Okay, that might be a little more scarier. Because I know just how potent that up upgrade is. And he's also buffing the Servitor. All I have to do is kill a Yoff. I think I can forfeit just shooting at everyone else. Okay, so Leonardo is, is kind of safe. Oriokus, this is your playground, buddy. I am a little bit tempted to just shoot the Servitors. Because they are... Ooh, Yoff is even going to get to go first. Hmm. Hmm. You will call him the green bug. <laughs> Let's see. Ellipsis, Demet, Yoff. Epsilus, I think, actually. Epsilus, Demet, Yoff. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Although I'm pretty bad with uh, pronunciation as well, so don't don't take my word for it, please. But Green Bug sounds like an appropriate nickname. It's sure to offend them. Now, honestly, do I kill the Servitors now or try and focus on killing Yoff? Because I have an energy field for crying out loud, so the Servitor should not be that scary. And let's see, I don't see my ranger going first, damn it. What happened to that rule that my servitor gets to go first? And you have no energy weapons, so... You are taking quite a beating in a hurry there, my friend. You are not going to live very long at this rate. Now I can rush up there and slash him. And maybe that's actually a good idea because I could completely avoid his attacks. I have the skill for it. Let's put it to good use. Because he's prone to attack me, I think. 
Did I actually miss? Wow. Wait, am I able to attack again? What? I'm confused. What the hell just happened? Did I just attack twice and I don't know how that triggered? First attack action just... Oh, it doesn't go on cooldown. Okay. Now I understand. It doesn't go on cooldown. That's really weird how it words that. Because keep in mind, the Vanguard has something similar to this. Sure, the Vanguard has it on a cooldown, but... If they just made this a one-turn cooldown, that may not have been an issue. At least I wouldn't be confused. Now, let's see if this is a terrible idea, having the ranger out in the open. Epsilus, Demoth Miot, there is no heresy but the denial of the truth. You missed. Alright, more buffing. That's kind of to be expected. And I'm in a shield. So I could take those hits pretty well. Oh boy. This might suck. And a critical hit at that. Yeah. Sadly, he's dead. That was a terrible idea, I guess. He at least soaked the shot from uh, Yoff, at least. So now... Dang it. I have no cognition, so... And they basically all win anyway, so you're free to delay. Now, Jeremiah, you can get Cognition. You have an Eradication Ray. So there's some fun stuff you could do here. And I'm pretty sure this mission is probably over as soon as Yoff dies. And apparently my corpse is right there. Oh, because of the servo skull, maybe. Alright. That looks cool. Can we finish him off? Not quite. Actually, I have an energy. Ooh, I have two ways to boost my attack. Alright, so this is over. Potentially is over. I don't want to jinx it yet. But he's dead either way. Reanimation protocol. Okay. So yeah, he has that final skill trait, and now he has more health. Hmm. We're not out of it yet. We still need to start clearing out some servitors, though, still. And I still have Leonardo's with his taunt, at least. I just don't have a servo skull at the moment to just grab some more cognition. But Taunt can at least grab this. What about Leonardo's? Nope, you don't have the Servo Skull, so we're going to have to wait a turn before we can charge up everything. So I can melee you. You have 21 health, though. And you should be okay. I have distant heals and I can... He yeah, I have the ability to heal on my tech priest immediately too. So I should be okay. You're going to probably get a shot on me, so I got to be careful of that. That was the arc lightning. At least that was random. And that did almost no damage. So, Leonardo does get his cognition. 
And he has a spotlight too. Is there any way? I'm just wondering if I can hit the servitor, the tech priest. Or I could delay. Because, yeah, Oriochus can get out of the way before I do anything. Because who's left to go? You. And I have two melee attacks with for this fella, so this might just kill him. Yeah, if Leonardo's can get the kill, then I can get a cognition back for this. Although I could have just boosted my damage to maybe guarantee it. Actually, no, I would have been one point off. Do you kill Leonardo's? Nope, you're one point off again. Although, I forgot again, he has that skill. That's what I mean. I need to learn his, uh, what he has to offer the team. Now, Minarius, you have a lot of... You can take only one shot, and it would probably kill the Servitor. Do I have a better alternative? Because that's a lot of damage right there. But I think it's because I'm being buffed right now, isn't it? Energy Enhancer. Oh. How am I doing 9 to 11 damage is what I'm wondering. Oh. Oh, your field generator is still active. Okay. I'll happily take that. Now you have 12 health. You're sadly not going to die. Who goes on this group? Oh, you go first, so... Sadly, I'm not gonna get to kill you. Oh, never mind, you're dead. I must have damaged you earlier or something. I completely forgot. Although, this might suck for Jeremiah a little bit. He's gonna take some damage. At least he's early to go for the group. And I have one shot left, so. Alright, everyone back off there. I wasn't really considering the reanimation, but I'm gonna have to deal with it, and Jeremiah might take a little bit of hits. I am the future, I am the truth. So he's gonna try and get melee. Jeez, I wasn't expecting that to go suit cover. But that was a guaranteed critical hit, maybe. And he didn't move at all. So if I don't want him to hit me with that ray, I just try and get in his face, I suppose. Or maybe that's because he got upgrade from killing him the first time. Ooh, that was scary. Because they have multiple attacks. That makes it a little more tre trepidatious. Jeremiah can heal himself. I need to deal with you. And I have two shots to deal with you. So I'm not worried. I only get one cognition though. But I could deal with you. I am not worried. Let's just deal with your support, because I was kind of expecting you to just bring in reinforcements. There, you're dealt with. Oriochus should probably heal himself because of the damage we just seen. 
I'm not gonna take chances with him. Not just yet. Now, Jeremiah, you need a little bit of healing, buddy. And thankfully, we are able to provide. I just have no troops to provide extra fire support. But now all of my Servo Skulls and Mecha Denrites are up. It's time to go crazy on Cognition again. I'll worry about you later, Yoff. Although, actually, there's an opportunity to hit all three of you, so I think I'm going to chance it. And I did just walk away from the Servitor, so maybe I can move in, then move back out. Oh no, I'm in melee. Dang it. Why did I do that exactly? Because I was thinking of the Mecha Denrite. That's why. I am going to miss Yoff, though, it seems like. But at least I can hit everyone else. Oh, it did get an opportunity attack. Oh, now I could have got the uh, Cognition, but oh well. It's not going to do damage to him, but let's at least cripple everyone else before we run off. Fancy attack. All I gotta say there. More cognition, please. Then we'll just melee and shut you up. Repair. And what else do I want to do here? Because who's next? Toph is going to give me a Cognition. That's for troops, sadly, so I can't benefit from that. So maybe I just sprint away. They give me a little more breathing room. Because I'm going to get that Cognition back regardless. I just need to get a little bit of cognition for the troops I'm going to be summoning now. So, five turns for that, so be a, w a wait. And I just jumped this one guy. Kill him off with Leonardo's and Toph there. And then we'll deal with the soft in a moment. Actually, let me actually shoot him. It might be a good idea to hit him with the pistol. Alright, give us your stats. Yep, you look like you might die. Although, you're going to move before uh, Leonardo's gets on you. So I'm going to take a little bit of damage, it seems. Is it possible, though? I don't think I can kill him with just uh, Toph. Actually, I might. It depends on how the second attack goes. Five to seven. There's a really good chance he kills him. But it looks like he can still shoot me. It's the problem. Well, never mind that. I saw he had the repair arm, I just didn't acknowledge he was going to repair. There, more cognition. And thankfully I can easily cleanse all that. And now you're going to fire your arc rifle, isn't it? That is pretty painful. And now we're at max cognition because of that. How do we best abuse this? Can I at least shoot at Yoff? The game's telling me I can't shoot at Yoff. So I'm going to have to get a little more aggressive. 
because Minaris can also heal pretty well. But I want to kill his Tech Priest with my uh, Splash and Ray. The Splash damage and uh, the Cleave I'm about to do. Oh, did I seriously not hit the one in back? Did I rush that too much? Ah, dang it, that stinks. Leonardo's is gonna have Mecha Den right, so I'm gonna get Cognition back. Oh, and Minarius needs to be healed, so never mind that. Minarius needs to heal himself. Never mind anyone else. And physical armor. Does anyone really need physical armor? I don't think so, besides the Meliers. Now get to a better vantage, Minarius. I don't know how many were left to. But you could do one point of damage to him. So have fun with that. Now, Leonardus, get us some more of that tasty cognition. Because this is kind of fun having a lot of big weapons to fire. And we could cleanse you. So let's do that. And also, where's the other Cenerite? Out in the middle of nowhere, so I'm safe from you. So you are dead, my friend. Now, do I need to sprint anywhere? Nah, I can wait till next turn. Because I'm just going to get a bunch right here, just by standing next to it. Now, I don't have to worry about him for the rest of this mission, almost. The one up top. And we have troops to summon. So, disarming Yoff might soft rather. It's going to be pretty important. I'll just summon two, though. I just don't want him to get hit by the cleave or whatever he shot us with. Such devotion to the lie. Such opportunity wasted. Did you just call the Omnisign uh, false? Have you started to get corrupted by chaos now? Ow. Thank God I had the armor for that. Now we have even more reason to kill this bastard. But at this point all we have to do is deal with these servitors and I have the easiest weapons for it. I just gotta make sure I don't hit myself for when I do this maneuver. Because Oriokas is just going to focus on him. Minaris is going to kill the Servitors and him, ideally. I just got to plan this out. So Toph is next. Dang it, I can't hit him. I thought I could. Oh well, I guess I'm going over this way then. One more time, and they get me a bunch more cognition. And do I leave you out there? Because you're going to take a lot of damage if I'm not careful. And I'll heal you next turn, depending on what happens. So I can call reinforcements. I have an eradication ray. But I don't have much else to get uh, cognition yet. Well, Toph might be able... What do you get? 
No, he's not going to give me any cognition yet either, so I need to plan this out. Because I would like to hit all three of them and kill them all. Is what I would love. Let's see how far I can move first. I can heal the troops, but that would only heal one troop, which doesn't seem worth it. And Toph is going to take a little bit of damage. I want to heal him as well. I would like to hit him. Hmm. How's the best... I guess I just melee and do what I can. It's a little more efficient that way, or not as costly. One cognition for the heal, so... Hey Minaris, do you... You'll have cognition freedom next turn, okay, so I'll probably use the heal. On top. Bit of a waste, because it's only healing one unit. And it heals uh, Oriochus. I kind of forgot that it would actually uh, heal Oriochus. Because I kind of wanted to have a little bit of damage, and damn it, maybe I should have done that after. I didn't realize he would hit so hard. And I don't have cognition anymore. Although, I can, I might be able to do something by grabbing this. Well, good thing I healed him, but now he doesn't move anymore. Yeah, unless I want to burn a lot of cognition, I am not moving. So you're just taking a slow route for now. Now, the main reason why I want these rangers, although he's like in the perfect spot to not be able to disable. So he's making it a little difficult on me. Oh, and I just walked right into an tech priest to shoot me. Not a big issue. At least he's disabled. I just can't protect him anymore. Renarius, you have Cognition Freedom. And you can potentially hit three of them. I rather would like to use the Fall Kite Blaster. But... Don't think it will help. I don't think I'll hit multiple targets. Now, this time all it hits all three of them, dang it, and I'm sh sure of it. Critical hit on them, nice. Not quite dead, though. Now, give us some more of that cognition there, please, Leonardus. And you could just spotlight and taunt Yaw for us. Or Soft, I guess. That might interrupt him using his range attack if I'm lucky. So, I'm not going to boost up the attack. Since I won't have the cognition I need for a spotlight. Alright, so I'm good where I'm at. Yeah, Ranger's dead. I kind of saw that coming. After I made my mistake. But it's only a Ranger. Now, speaking of which, I can also disable him. 
which I would like to try and do. If it actually works. That's the main thing. So kill the servitor. Disable. I cannot even reach him. So I can't do that. Try as I might. And these servitors get to go before anyone else, so I might as well deal with it. So much for trying to disable the boss. It's not working out very well. I will build a future that you shall never see. Okay, that's fine. Who needs you anyway? Damn. That was a 10 point damage hit. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Thank god for a spotlight, because I just let him do like 20 damage to me. And thankfully they're sprinting, so they can't melee me. Oriochus, we need cognition, buddy. Sof is going to die this turn. And you're going to be insurmountable to it. Alright, shot number one. Let's see if killing him this time works or not when I get the fatal damage in. And I might as well heal myself. Hmm, don't really get a whole lot here because none of my troops are going to get to move anytime soon. Alright, Jeremiah, you're next. You can gather me a bunch of cognition, which I like the sounds of. You can also cleanse, that's something I can't neglect, although you can't reach. Oh my god, can you actually cleanse the evasion? That would be amazing if you could do that. I'm too far away, I think. Can you actually cleanse the... Oh no, that's the acid. Never mind. I got excited for a moment. Thinking maybe that was possible. Uh, if I sprint... Hmm. You have two hit points left, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Cognition from you. I'm going to then kill your sorry ass. Then I'm going to kill your boss. That sounds ideal, right? No one can even see Yoff. Unless I want to summon someone. Just a ranger, which might make the difference if I do this right. So, buff him up. Do Is there any point to get do more damage, though? Because I only got three cognition points left. Six, eight, so I'm not going to quite kill him yet. Although he does go next. So maybe I can with the ranger. Not quite, but pretty damn close. And you're gonna get to shoot, but you're disarmed, so I'm not worried about you. So 
Three hit points. We're almost there. Ranger, put an end. Oh, you might not kill him. Let's not get too excited yet. Huh, let's see a reanimate from that. Thought you could fool me by your first reanimation, huh? Well, I know the ultimate counter. Kill him again. And it worked flawlessly. The arch hair tech, Ellipse Ipsilius uh, Demifioff, finally collapses under the force of the cohort's assault. The noon spear fills with dado emotions of anguish and pain, and then falls utter dark. The other heretics lie dead, and the rebellion on the Kessless Metallican is broken. The task of rooting out the final heretics can begin. A new age of man de denied. Our immortality stolen. Curse you for the future you have lost. It is done. The heretic is slain. Skatari medicated personnel to the Engineerium. We have wounded. Servitor dispatch or transmit. Recovery of data medium from slain hair techs or from slain hair techs commences. Analyst two. No. No recovery. Incinerate the bodies and cast them out of the airlocks. None of this heresy shall remain on my ship. Their blasphemy dies with them. Where is your jubilation, Magos? Where is the exil? Ex uh, exil. Exalteration at the destruction of the rebels and the traitor. The heretics were once our brethren, Subtribune. They learned and prayed alongside us. I will not mourn them, but I will not celebrate their death either. Only Ellipsis's death is worthy of joy, and that is matched by the anger that they perpetrate or perpetrated their blasphemy under our noses for so long. So that ends a chapter there. The heretics are gone. Only one remains, and his name is Oriochus. I think. Well, at least we got confirmation on that pronunciation. There's a twinkle in his eye. It will never be over. And the kill goes to Skitari. Yeah, it did, didn't it? It was a little more costly than what I'm used to. But I kind of got ca caught completely off guard by the reanimation. Never mind the fact I used my alpha so poorly too. Just because I didn't quite understand what his trait did either. I almost assumed that would allow him to go first on every turn. But we got a new uh we got a new weapon for Minarius, the solar atomizer. We got a Ranger tier 3, Blackstone for our new uh tech priest. Life is good. 
And sadly, I'm going to have to end the stream there. But before we do that, let's try to get a little more levels in on Toph. Because he's still got a lot of work to him. I don't really want to go all the way and make him a traveler. I kind of would like to give him some weapons too, but... We'll give him the Angered Spirit. Sadly, we only got enough Blackstone for one more level. So it's not all that exciting yet. Do I even get rid of the Blast Pistol? Actually, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to get the other Mecha Den right. Instead of the Spotlight, since Leonardus is perfect for that role for the time being. And that gives me one Augment Point for another Blast Pistol, I guess. It'll take a little bit of work to figure out our new uh, Tech Priest, but I will say that's kind of refreshing to be able to play with some bigger weaponry. Now we just gotta figure out how to take advantage of all that power that we can unlock. And I want to continue on the path with uh, Kepra because I want to believe this is where we'll un unlock our next troops. Or higher tier troops anyway. These two damn empty slots. But what do we have? Level 3 uh, Ranger was it? Or what was level 3? So let's see. Attacks are always critical hits. Wow. That just means you ignore armor completely. And are just uh, insulting my Rust Stalker, damn you. Now what am I going to do with Jeremiah with his guaranteed critical hit? If my Rangers... Well, I already know the answer to that, and that's with the Vanguards. Alright. Thank you, Al, for tuning in. Thank you, C-Rag, if you're still there. And everyone else who tuned in. I am going to try to do uh, another stream tomorrow, but... I'm going to focus on doing more uh, Battlefleet Gothic recordings for later on the week. But expect, what is it, the Tau Merchant Fleet uh, video later tonight, or in the early morning at least. Because I'm going to do the encoding for that while I'm having my uh, dinner out. So look forward to that. Thank you everyone for tuning in otherwise. Have a good day, have a good night.